This video is all about Zone Director licensing. We're going to work with two different license types today. First, we'll add a support license, and second, we'll add an AP capacity license. In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our how-to hub. Be sure to check it out often, as we are always updating the content. If you notice our Zone Director screen, our support service expires in 68 days. We don't want that to lapse, so let's get the license activated and installed. I recommend contacting your local sales team to purchase licenses. RECA support is available to help you with any issue you encounter applying licenses, but they aren't equipped to sell them. Once we've purchased our license or licenses from our local sales team, we should receive an email that will look like this. This is our ZD support license. In order to activate the license, we click on the activation code. This link directs us to the license activation page, so we click the accept radio button and click on activate purchase. Now, we are not quite done. We need to bind our license to the serial number. To do so, click on the product code. Let's grab our serial number. Within Zone Director, our serial number is located on the dashboard. I'll highlight and copy the serial number to our clipboard. I'll paste our serial number into the Bind to Device field and click on Validate Serial Number. Now we just click Bind Support to Device, then we get an information page. Next, we'll need to add the support file manually to our ZD appliance. To do so, we need to be in the RUCA support portal. Let's navigate to Warranty and RMA and then the Support Service Missing or Existing link. Now paste the serial number into the field and click Submit. This downloads our support file with a .spt extension to our browser's download folder. Let's jump back into Zone Director. Navigate to Administer, then Support. Here we have two options. We can use the Check Entitlement option, which will contact the Ruckus Support Portal and automatically download and install the new license, or we can manually upload it. Manual uploads are necessary if our ZD appliance isn't connected to the internet or firewall rules prevent us from reaching the support portal. We are connected to the internet with this appliance, so we'll use the check entitlement option. We see a message informing us that our support service has been successfully activated. All right, now we can add our AP capacity license. Capacity licenses for Zone Director are bound to the serial number. Here is our AP Capacity license. I'll go ahead and click the activation link. This takes us back to the support portal where I'll accept the terms and conditions and then activate purchase. Now we see our license info and it gives us a good amount of information about it. Mainly, we can see that our license status is active and that our license is bound to our Zone Director serial number. I'll download the license file and get back into Zone Director. Under Administer and then License, we see an Upload option. Zone Director doesn't have a Sync option for this license type, so we must manually add it. I'll click Choose File and select the correct file in my file browser, then click Open. Now we click on Upgrade and the license is added successfully. One last thing, we'll check our dashboard and we see that all of our licenses have been installed correctly and everything looks great. Before you go, be sure to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.